Hello, hello, hello. Miss Daylight Clay here today. And how are you doing? I hope everything is well with you. I'm doing fine. Thank you so much for asking. And I'm back again today for the third day of the Be Loves Life $10 meal challenge, $10 or less. So I have prepared a meal for me today. I didn't purchase, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't make the ribs myself, but I went and bought some um, St. Louis style barbecue ribs and I only got a half of a slab, which is five bones. And sometimes like I say a whole slab is 13 to 15 bones. So I paid half price. I paid $7 and 32 cents for the half slab of ribs. And I went to uh, a Dollar Tree and I bought a can of uh, red beans for a dollar. And I bought a box of instant rice for a dollar. So it comes to $9.32. So that was really close. But I did create a meal for less than $10. And the meals that I have created, they're not just for one person. You know, it's enough for... You know, more than one person. So let me show you what the meal looks like. Okay. And I got some garnishes on the plate that I had in my fridge. So I didn't spend anything extra. I bought the ribs. I bought the can of red beans. And I bought the instant rice. So let me show you what it looks like. So those are the St. Louis style ribs. Okay, just some garnishes, and that's the red beans and rice. And yes, 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 this meal was under $10, under $10. The St. Louis style ribs, it's a half a slab, a half a slab, do the math, a half a slab, I got some uh, peppers on there, you know, things that I had in my fridge. And I had made some red beans and rice. And red beans and rice is one of my favorites. So, here we go again. And this is what it looks like. Okay? Okay. So, before we get into this video, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Thank you guys so much. And if you're new here, please welcome, welcome you to my channel and please come back. And for all my subbies who love me and show support, thank you again so much for watching. So much for watching. So before I start to, oh, cha, yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry. I had to say it. Before I get into this food, <clears throat> before I get into this food, I want you to remember my song. My song. So if you with me and you know it, let's sing the song. Okay? And it goes like this. You don't need a ticket to ride with me. It's free. It's free. You don't need a ticket to ride with me. It's free. It's free. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. It's free. Hit the like button, baby. It's free. It's free. So please, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so each time I upload a new video, you'd be there. And share the video if you like. And leave a comment. I talk back. Yes, yes, yes. So, it's a delicious meal. You know, some meals, this is my third day, some meals you can have for four or five people, some meals you can have for two people, and this is a meal for however many people you like. I have one, two, three, four, five bones, and most of the time, a whole slab of ribs comes with 13 to 15 bones, and I have five. So this is a half a slab of St. Louis style ribs. <laughs> Can't wait to get into it. And I love red beans and rice. I like my red beans and rice. I don't like um, mash. I mean, what they call refried beans. I don't like refried beans and rice. 
I like the whole red kidney beans. Yes, 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 yes. Give me some kidney beans and give me some rice. Put my own favorite ingredients in there and let's do it. Let's do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So again, so I'm going to start to eat. And I'm going to start with the uh, red beans and rice. I'm a, uh, I like the sides and everything is hot cha cha cha. Oh, yes. And again, this meal can be as for as many people as you like. It's under $10. A half a slab of ribs, a can of red beans for a dollar, some instant rice, and seasoning to your taste. Flavor is everything. Mmm. My last video with the um the rotis the roasted chicken, it cut off. Before I even ate the chicken. And I wanted to um, put it out there again. But when I was deleting stuff to make more storage. Instead of using, you know, anyway, I should have done it, but I didn't. You know, we all go through some things. So, I, I wasn't able to post a video of me with that roasted chicken and that delicious cream gravy. It was, oh, mm, mm, mm. it was, it was like, mm, 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 mm. I can't, I can't even explain. The gravy was delicious with that chicken. It was a clean gravy. Mm. Okay. And I do have my peppers back here. Oh, but I also have something else too. So I'm going to turn these ribs around because I'm going to start eating these ribs. When I take another bite of this red beans and rice. And because I like spicy, I brought back the Taco Bell Diablo sauce. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I brought that back. So... These red beans and rice is so good, y'all. These red beans and rice is so, 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 so good. You guys, they have to know everything ain't good. I'll tell you when it's good. And I'll tell you when it ain't good. Or when it's not good. I'm sorry. Mm, okay. So. Mm. Let's get into this St. Louis style glazed ribs. Oh, it's just fought. Look. Oh, it just fell off the bone. And I didn't bring a bone tray. Is that how you said a bone tray? This meat is just falling off the bone. Oh, well, I can't say. I know I just picked up this bone. Mm. So let's do it again. I'm on. And you know what about the St. Louis style ribs? What we do, like, um, we cook the, the ribs, the whole rib, along with the, the rib tip. And it's a different part of meat when they go to the butchering. You know, they call it something else. I'm not going to go there. But however, the, the, whole, the whole rib, which is why we call it St. Louis style ribs, the whole rib is connected to the rib tips. And in most cases, when you get your ribs, they cut that part of the meat off and you only get the bones. With the St. Louis style ribs, you get all the meat. You get all the meat from the top to the bottom, from the rooter to the scooter. I mean, not that, but you follow me? So, and this is what I'm saying about this. I got the, the, um, the bones. And when sometimes you buy it, they cut it off right here. And then they leave this part right here and they sell it as real tips. But I got the I got it all. So let me dig. Oop, don't, don't, don't make a mess. Let me dig into it, y'all. Let me show you what I'm doing. Oh wow. Look at all that meat, y'all. And this is the bottom part that I was talking about. 
I should have brought some dipping sauce on the side, but that's okay. That wasn't included in the price. <laughs> so this is the meat from the end part. This is not the meat from the bones. It's the rib part. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Has mm. a little small piece of the jalapeno pepper because sometimes I have this and I want to sing a big bite out of life and I'll be like, ah, oh, child. Anyway, let me tear one of these bones off. So I'm going to tear this apart. I'm going to tear the bottom part off and show you what I'm talking about with the St. Louis style ribs. Okay. Oh, look at all their goodness. A lot of times when you go to the restaurant, this is what you get. The ribs. The bones. That is so tender. This is so much meat. I mean, you can feed your family with this under $10. So, this is the bottom part of the meat. Let me see if I can bring it closer to you. It's so tender, y'all. It's so tender. This is the bottom part. The rib tip part. This is the rib tip part. And that part was connected to the the bones, which ah, it is so tender, which we call the St. Louis style ribs. Everybody don't serve it like that with the um the the bones and the rib meat. Everybody don't serve it like that, but in St. Louis they do. So let me put this up here. Let me pull off one of these bones, y'all. Oh. Mm. 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 If you like your meat falling off the bone, try some STL style ribs, y'all. Oh, this is delicious. Oh, mm. Mine, mine, mine. And most of St. Louis style ribs, um, they have like a, a a fruity sauce to the a fruity base to the sauce. Onions, I'm sorry, lemons, limes, oranges help create their sauce. Mm, mm, mm. So delicious. So, so, so delicious. Mm. So again, ooh, this is mine. 
Oh, excuse me. My $10. Excuse me. This is my $10 and or less and less meal by B loves B loves life. Okay? I have the St. Louis style ribs. And I'm belching. Mm, okay. I have the St. Louis style ribs. I have the red beans and rice. Com Ooh, compliments of me. So, again, I'm not going to eat all of it, all of this, but I thought that I'd bring it to my table, okay, to see what you can do for, for $10. Let me drink a glass of water or something, okay? So, I'm glad you joined me for this video. And like I say, these are the ribs falling off the bone. St. Louis style. So, in the meantime, and in between time, I'll see you soon. And I'll be back for day four. See you soon. Bye.